guys, hey Barbies and Kens. Welcome back to the channel, our channel. And if you're new here, my name is Gab. And today, it's been a while since I told you a story time. Uh, I felt like this was a fun one to do. It's been a while since I've done a story time. And I kind of just thought of the situation the other day in my head. And I was like, oh my god, I should film it. Uh, I just got this too. It's nighttime. I'm being all comfy. I was like, I should put my little... I don't even know. It's like terry cloth. You could wear it in the tub and wash it. It's just like really nice. I don't know. I was like, I just want to be relaxed tell the story I could use a glass of wine right now but I should have water my throat's feeling dry I should get up and get water but I probably will not so basically the story takes me back to when I was out of high school but as you can see from the title my ex best friend was still in high school now we had like a really big falling out so I didn't talk to her for a while and then I was like I'm gonna let her back into my life and see how it goes because I knew her from middle school. I was bullied in middle school and she was like one of the only people I felt like I could talk to. So we're gonna call her Emily in the situation. So Emily had reached out to me and just like wanted to talk to me as friends. So I was open to it. So me and Emily started talking as friends and she decided to disclose to me. Cause you know, we would talk. I was like, next. Sure. So as we became friends again, started talking, we were, you know, as, 19 20 year olds just talking like who we were into this and that and she basically had said oh well i'm actually seeing uh somebody that you might know and i was like oh well who would that be so as we were talking more she had said that she was talking to one of our teachers and to be honest i like didn't believe her Woof. I don't know why I just like his wife had worked at the school as well so it's like I just couldn't see that being a thing woof, woof. but she was like yeah like I'm like dating him and we were like seeing each other and blah 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 so I was like okay I dropped it at that left it at that so like a few days later she was like oh I am doing this or that can you get onto my email and tell me what he said so I'm like, oh, okay, just like give me your stuff then. I get into her email and sure enough, she's talking to our teacher. He's sent her pictures of himself and it's just like kind of blew my mind because in a sense I'm like okay did he like kind of like check her out when we were in school still or like she said like her senior year already like there was a connection and a thing going on but I was just like that is insane that like they were seeing each other and I had even mentioned, it was like, cause I wanted to know more then because once I like finally believed her, I was like, oh my God, like I need to know more about this. So <coughs> excuse me, oh my God, I'm dying. I was like, does his wife know? Like, and I guess the one time they got caught and his wife did find out. And then I guess he said he said like he stopped seeing her, but he was still seeing Emily. And I just thought it was like absolutely insane. So she'd always kind of like, involve me in their stuff kind of like hey can you read the emails oh what did he say and like obviously i mean 
these emails kind of were crazy. I mean, he would talk about his day and then kind of like other odds and ends, if you get me. So it was like kind of awkward for me. And I kind of got to the point where I was like, um, it's just like, I don't care if people like date whoever you want, like older or younger, but when like he's married and it's just like, and just break it. Like if they were so into each other, why didn't he break it off with his wife? And like, it's obviously more complicated than that. I get that, but like, I don't know. And I just kind of felt for her in a sense too. I kind of felt bad because it was just like, you're with this person that you're never going to have a future with that like he's literally sleeping with his wife at home and you're just like that side hoe and she never calculated that in her head maybe she did and just didn't give a shit I don't know but I kind of felt for her and I felt bad just because like it was she was getting like used I felt like from him and she was around like 18 or 19 so it's like I don't know. Uh, it just, it's like a weird situation and especially when it's somebody that you knew forever and then like you had a falling out and you're like, I don't know. It was just weird. And I obviously like wish her all the best, but I didn't want to be involved with that anymore. So I kind of just like blocked her out of my life. I was like, I can't do this. There's like so much crap was going on in my life at that time. I, that was when I had my pill addiction, just like stupid shit. And I was just like, I can't deal with you be around with our ex teacher by the way that teacher pissed me off he cut me out of the freaking school musical because i had ammonia so fuck him look at me now on tiktok by the way if you have a tiktok you should follow me and uh on my other social medias and i've been selling on a lot of different platforms so you should check my art out it's all original so basically that's the story as you could see um yeah I hope you guys liked it. If you want more story times, please thumbs up the video, uh, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Has your friend ever F to teach? <laughs> Probably not. Maybe so. Who knows? Anyways, I uh, love you guys very, very much, and I will see you all in my next video. First, excuse my cold because I'm sounding like Titan's chest. You know what I mean? Hey, Barbies! Oh, oh my God. <coughs>